Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to talk about the poem She Walks in Beauty by the poet George Jordan Lord Byron. Um, actually, first of all, we would like to talk about his life. Um, actually, he was born in London uh, and he's England an English uh, poet. Uh, he's a British romantic poet, so he belongs to the Romanticism school. They were talking about, you know, um, beauty and nature and something like that. Um, so I will talk about something related to the poem. Uh, actually, um, on twelve. Uh, June uh, 1840, Byron attended the a fashionable party at a, a lady, uh, uh, and he met for the first time his cousin, Lady Wellman Hariton. So this is was this girl was, um, you know, uh, his uh, cousin, and he uh, admired. He was, you know, he uh, admired her face and her physical body so now he, he, he is he is going to explain uh, uh, you know the beauty within her uh, the lady wore morning dress the contrast between her bright beauty and her dark the poem was a his per so uh, this uh, this lady inspired him to write the same to write a poem in the same evening so he written he has written he had written the the this poem the same evening okay uh, she walks in the beauty this is the first stanza the poem takes um she walks in beauty likes a night of a cloudless glimpse and starry skies and all the best of dark and bright meet in her aspect in her eyes to tender light which end to the end of the poem first uh, what do you think about this picture uh, can you explain to me in, in the in your opinion if, if you would like uh, do you think it's a beautiful image do you think it's beautiful sight according to me I think it's very beautiful because there is a uh, nice uh, uh, weather there is a nice m moon and uh, it's a beautiful sight in night because there is moon and there is night so I think it is very important it's very beautiful um, sight we will just give a while with this picture because there is something related to the poem so uh, the summary of the first stanza the lady was walking beautifully she was wearing a black dress so she was wearing a black dress like the night when the sky was clear so there is a, a, a clear sky clear sky and uh, there is a beautiful stars the, the those stars are very shining they are very beautiful so the stars are then might be the jewels so she has a beautiful you know a beautiful uh, jewels in her uh, a dress and they are shining like a black in her black dress like the the night uh, if we go back to uh, to the picture we will find that um, you know this moon and they they are very beautiful I think because you know night and um, moon and uh, moon uh, and white moon uh, actually darkness and light is an wonderful meet on the side and her eyes that shine like stars or like jewels um, the next stanza the next stanza on uh, one showed the more and this poem to the end of uh, the next stanza we will uh, see the summary of the second stanza the second stanza starts saying and uh, that her beauty is perfect there is nothing that must be uh, added nothing must be added 
or to make it not you know she needs nothing because she is already beautiful as as long he said um byron said that her raven trees and her face are softly byron expressed that her thoughts are scared pure sweet and it's normal if we think her thoughts are in relation with her beauty so i think that uh, because her face is beautiful and she is beautiful also his face her face sorry is beautiful or her thoughts her, her thoughts are good her pure because of uh, the physical beauty of uh, uh, of her and on cheek and or bro so softy so calm the smiles that win the winds that glow but till of good days goodness is spent okay so let me discover the meaning of the sec third stanza the last the last stanza starts with the three lines of physical description byron writes about her cheek and her smile she he suggests that her physical body again is very important and uh, is very beautiful and he is uh, also uh, talking about her smile and he said that her smile reflects her happiness and uh, those all things that tell us about uh, beauty days and good days actually also he he her mind is at is at peace with all and her heart is a plenty of ancient love and in in this sense byron is explaining that she is beautiful to herself and her this is again the theme of the woman's physical beauty is a reflection of her inner beauty so he said that because of all these things because of her face and something like that he said or he is talking about that her face is also beautiful and even her 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 physical beauty is reflected it means that uh, she is beautiful as well she has uh, inner beauty okay uh, what do you think about that do you think it's it's uh, if you were if you are beautiful it means that you have the inner beauty I don't think so I don't think so about me okay <laughs> So we will see that the figure of speech we have a simile in the first line She walks in beauty like night. So as long as I have light, it's a uh, beautiful also we have personification because he described her uh, her uh, Physical body by saying that a blithe cheek and bro these per persons as if we can speak without good days um, actually we have metaphor two metaphors here in this poem again we have uh, another figure of speech which is ah uh, sorry alteration I think we have alteration in some uh, lines okay uh, here we are going to go to analysis in my opinion, uh, this is my opinion, it's my own opinion, Byron expresses beauty with the uh, composition of dark and light. Uh, I think it's really good, good way. As I have explained, it has not got the one meaning and it could be interrupted from different point of view. It depends on each person, as I said. For me, dark represents the internal beauty because it's it's hidden we do not know well we do not uh, can we we can't see uh the beauty the in internal beauty clearly as well the part of her beauty and light represent the external beauty of our faces our eyes i think this is what i have think what i what i think so you have some questions about the poem. Why does the Byron use many contrasts and she walks in beauty? So, actually he used the contrast like comparing her with darkness to sort of pray to explain to multifaceted his, his, his woman, this woman is 
she's a perfect and she is beauty beautiful be and he he makes the beauty between the day and night and th this is a very good way to express something and uh, different point and different uh, in two different sides the next question what is the main idea she works in beauty uh, the main idea is a perfect beauty and kindness can exist in one woman this is uh, uh, this is what I mean actually uh, Byron uses the poem to celebrate the beauty and how it's represented represented uh, so he, he 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 is he wants to explain to us that uh, you know perfect beauty is exist in what when one woman in one woman uh, this is according to the poet okay um, so thank you very much for watching um, we have the references here if you want to check all the information as I said this is my own uh, explanation and I am not perfect I don't have the perfection like uh, the, the poet is trying to say that she has a perfect beauty I don't have perfect explanation thank you very much for watching and I hope to enjoy our video. Thank you very much. See you in the next video.